and is given to most deserving personality who has shown exceptional public service. Let me engage you everyone to this uh, audiovisual presentation of our awardee for tonight. For us to know what is Diego de Santa Maria Award. is the Manila City Mayor Francisco Esco Moreno Dumagoso. Ladies and gentlemen, our award for tonight. Ari Dorme. Very welcome, awardee. Please come on stage to receive the award to be awarded by... May we call on our uh, rector, Father Clarence, and of course, Father Boy, to please award our awardee for this Diego Santa Maria Award. You know, ma'am, you're Messi and Lodi, an idol of our Contro people, Bata Maynila. Ayan. He really deserves our award for being an assembly public servant. The city of Manila. Ang ganda na ng uh, liwasan po ni Basho natin, ma'am. Maliwanag ang Maynila. Senator Chandler. Welcome na welcome, pati ang mga non-Letronites, of course, sa Coleo de San Juan de Letran. Did you see that night uh, that was awarded to, uh, to Mayor Reese Crook? Yeah, he is really a knight in shining, shining armor. Yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, about a round of applause to our awardee of the day. Great Diego Santa Maria Award. Thank and you, Father Boy. And before that, Yorme, congratulations, Po, and we would like to hear some words from you. Alright? Ang tagal ko ng artista, hindi ako nakakuha ng trophy. Bossing, public service lang pala, pwede na. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat at especially sa ating minamahal na Senate President, Senate President Tito Sen. Pabilya Soto, Smosi, at siyempre kay Father Clarence Marquez, Father John Stephen Besa, Father Lauro de Dios, Father Victor Calvo, Father Boyd Sulpico, Miss Rosalie Multimayor Cruz, Dr. Cristina Cabral, Father Let Let's Arcal, ay hindi, mukha lang mong Father si Russell Let Let's Arcal. At sa lahat po ng mga kapitapitagan, Nagalang, uh, mga Letronites at mga bisita na uh, nalitran. Ang muli, uh, maraming nalasalamat sa inyo. Eh, Naiiyaman na po. Uh, mas minakabahan ako ngayong gabi. Dahil uh, masyado niyo kung pinatataas yung expectations. Baka naman nun eh, hindi ko... 
ma-reach yung uh, expectations ninyo. But, uh, ngayawan Diyos. Ngayawan Diyos. Okay, uh, ako nga ang isa pag uh, napagtatanto-tanto ko. I cannot even imagine what happened to the Missouri. I myself. Because I, uh, I thought it's impossible. Because it's been there for uh, as, as far as I remember. But uh, anyway, uh, kung ano man ang inaasahan nyo sa akin, uh, sana nga uh, maabot kayo ang inaasahan ninyo. Uh, meron man akong isyong sukli sa binigay ninyo sa akin na magkilala. Uh, Ayan po ninyo, at the very least, uh, ay gagaling ng pupilit. Pagkukutihan uh, po maglingkod ng tapat, maayos, makatwiran, pamamahala sa lungsod ng may ilang. And let me take this opportunity also to tell marami sa inyo dito tagaletran. Alam <laughs> <laughs> oh. eh, Pero marami na sa inyo hindi na taga Maynila. Tama ko ba? <coughs> oh, but one way or another, uh, hayanin yung singiling ko kayo ngayong gabi. <laughs> Nang sa loob ng apat na taon at the very least ng buhay ninyo, nanirahan kayo sa Maynila. Isang buhay letranista. Ang nakita ninyo, yung ganda, sikat uh, ng lungsod, lalo na nung panahon ni Redlet, <coughs> nung mga panahon na yun. Ngunit nakita nyo na rin, sa ngayon, yung kinang lumabo. Uh, eh kaya naman, alam niyo ang tanso, tumugin mo man ang ginto, tanso pa rin. Kaya ang ginto, tulad ng lungsod ng Maynila, kumupas man, kaskasin lang natin ng konti, kikinang ulit ang lungsod ng Maynila. Kaya let me take this opportunity, singilin ko kayo. Pwede ba makisuyo? Tulungan niyo naman kami sa lungsod ng Maynila. Yeah. You tell everybody, please, I hope I'm not asking too much, and you also, please, uh, help us by cooperation, collaboration, or even simple things that you can share as individual. Even to the to the point, at the very least, just by driving, going to Manila, you know, having those uh, uh, kind of self-discipline. You push up, ah, kahit mga sa mga ganong paraan. I am literally begging each and every one of you, those who have a story to tell, experience. Manila. This is now the time. Bago man lang magpantay-pantay ang mga panin. Please, pay back to Manila. Let's do this. This is the capital of the country. The window of opportunity. And there was a saying before, that where Manila goes, the country follows. But those days are gone now. And I believe that with your help, with everybody's participation, especially people, sensible people, will participate, cooperate, help. It is only to the way. Thank you. Darating nga naman ang araw 
sisikat na muli ang araw sa lungsod ng Maynila. Kaya sa inyo lahat, maraming maraming salamat dito. Uulitin ko. Ang supli ko na lang sa inyo sa parangal na pinagkalobo sa atin. Maraming hindi kong mapandayan, abutan ang mga marahil uh, mga ekspektasyon ninyo sa akin. At the very least, pagbubutihan ko po talaga. Kulang hindi ako matulog. Pero huwag kayong mag-aalala at huwag nyo rin alalanin na walang tulog ang intindi nyo yung walang gising. <laughs> Magandang gabi. Pagkalain nyo kayo na ang kong magandang. Maraming maraming salamat po. Manila, God first. Arima, the plan. So I hope one day I will see you like that, uh, Nate. Uh, that Hopefully. you are you are already coming back with that. All right, lahat tayo na smiley sa kanila, no? <laughs> well, okay, we are not ready to start the ball rolling as we now really go to the main part of our program. We are going to award our great men and women. Ladies and gentlemen, this Grandes Figuras Award is given to an alumnus who exemplifies the ideal of Deus Patria Latran. Last year, we have named 89 Grandes Figuras Awardees and to complete the target of 400 as part of our Quadras and Tina celebration which will happen next year, we are to award the next set of uh, Letra Nights this year, tonight in particular. These men and women are the ones who have given pride and glory to our beloved Colegio. And to better understand this award, may I invite you once again to watch this AVP. The Tran 400 men and women, Grandes Figuras. Rationale. The purpose of the 400 Grandes Figuras is to give recognition 